Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Ian. 欢迎大家来到 Lingo Plus 课堂。我是 Hannah. Today we're going to learn a special verb called an auxiliary verb. 会 Let's listen first to a conversation. 你会说汉语吗？我会说汉语。Hannah just asked me if I can speak Chinese. Keep in mind, the auxiliary verb "hui" is kind of like in English saying "I can" or "I know how to." Let's listen again. 你会说汉语吗？我会说汉语。I can speak Chinese, or I know how to speak Chinese. 说汉语 means to speak Chinese. 说 is the verb for to speak. 说 plus a language it means to speak that language. For example, 说汉语 means speaking Chinese or to speak Chinese. How about English? 说英语 Great. And 你会说汉语吗？会 is the most important word that we're going to be looking at today, and the way we use it is. Hui plus a skill, and remember, a skill is something that takes training or learning. For example, I can drive, or I know how to drive. 我会开车。开车 is to drive a car. Or I can swim, or I know how to swim. 我会游泳。游泳 means to swim. What if I want to make it negative? For example, what if I do not know how to swim and I want to say I can't swim or I don't know how to swim? 我不会游泳 So as you've just heard, to make this negative, all we need to do is add the 不 in front of the 会不会 plus the skill. For example, I don't know how to or I can't speak French. 我不会说法语。When asking somebody a question, please remember that we need to add the question word "ma" at the end. For example, 你妈妈会说汉语吗 ？So an easy way to remember this is the "ma" is kind of like a question mark. And actually, when you look at the way the character is written. It, it kind of looks like a question mark, and that can help you remember that when we ask a question, we must include that "ma." Let's listen again. 你妈妈会说汉语吗？她不会说。Okay, let's look back at our conversation and do a quick review of what we've learned today. 你会说汉语吗？我会说汉语。你妈妈会说汉语吗？她不会说。Okay, now let's move on to some practice. 你朋友会说法语吗？他会说法语。你妈妈会开车吗？我妈妈不会开车。Okay, today we've learned an auxiliary verb 会会 plus a skill. For example, 我会说汉语。And we also learned its negative form 不会 For example, 我不会游泳。Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and see you next time. 下次再见。